Good morning to all of you. Today we will study about the plant fibers. The plant fibers are the material which is composed of thin and continuous strand. They consist elongated cells containing the tapering ends which is very thick and they also consist the lignified cell walls. The fiber cells are dead at the maturity and they will act, act to support the stem and roots tissues in the plants. In the mature and dead plants, there is a cavity which is known as the lumen. It is very small. It cannot be observed under naked eye. But if we see the cross section of fibers under microscope, we can easily observe this. And it is also a component of the sclerenchymate tissues along with the shorter thick walled sclerites. Sclerites, we can also say the stone cells. Now, these fibers are also associated with the xylem and phloem tissues of the monocot and dicot stems and roots. But generally, it is not present in the gymnosperm plant. That is the reason the gymnosperm plant, the root and stem of the gymnosperm plant is, in compared to angiosperm plant, is soft in nature because of the absence of these fibers. Now, types of the fibers, there may be two types. First one is the natural, second one is the synthetic fibers. Natural fibers which is obtained from the plants, animals and minerals, whereas synthetic fibers are prepared by the man and it is prepared by the chemical known as the petroleum. Petroleum, so that type of synthetic fiber is known as the petrochemicals. So the fibers which are obtained from the plants known as plant fibers on the other hand which obtained from the animals known as the animal fibers and sometimes fiber can also be obtained from the mineral sources for example asbestos is there and the example of plant fibers is cotton and jute is there whereas from the animal sources it is the silk and wool is there okay. Whereas in synthetic fibers, it consists a small unit or a polymer, polymer which is made from many repeating units known as the monomers. So there are so many monomers units which, which compose the polymers and these are the polymers, synthetic fibers are the polymers. Now basic differences. There are some differences in the natural fibers and synthetic fibers. The morphological characters is complex in case of the natural fibers whereas in synthetic fibers it is very simple as natural fibers are obtained naturally so they are not uniform in size whereas synthetic fibers is prepared by the man so it, they are uniform in size. Now because of the water absorbing structure present in the natural fibers, they can absorb much more moisture contained than the synthetic fibers. Now examples of synthetic fibers are nylon, acrylics, polyurethane, polypropylenes are the examples. Now first drug under this category is cotton which is also known as the absorbent cotton. It is obtained from the epidermal trichomes of the seeds of Gossypium herbaceum, Gossypium hirsutum, Gossypium barbidensis belonging to family Malvesi. Commercially, it is cultivated in so many countries like United States of America, West Indies, Peru, Brazil, India, China and Egypt. If we talk about the preparations of the raw cotton, First of all, we have to collect the cotton balls from the ripe and dehisced fruit of the gossypium followed by the separations of the trichomes from the seeds by the ginning methods and gin machine is used for this purpose. So this mass of separated trichome constitute the raw cottons which may consist so many impurities like coloring matters waxes and oils. These impurities can be removed by the process of bleaching. 
so raw cotton is now then variously treated and followed by the combing and spinning method due to which it is converted to yarn or thread now these threads are woven to make the fabrics and the cloth another is the preparations of the absorbent cotton basically absorbent cotton is obtained from the wastage which occurred during the process of preparing the yarn from the raw cottons so this wastage are loosened and then boiled for 10 to 15 hour under a pressure of about 30 pounds in a dilute solutions of caustic soda or soda s due to this treatment fatty cuticles are removed and absorbent trichomes are obtained now these boiled material is washed thoroughly with the water followed by bleaching with the dilute solution uh, dilute solution of sodium hypochlorite followed by treated with very dilute hydrochloric acid now this bleached mass of fiber is then dried loosened is sketched and carded by using the appropriate machine so due to which the product is obtained as a absorbent cotton wool now if we talk about the macroscopical characters of cotton color is white order is orderless taste is tasteless shape is fine filament like it is soft and unicellular size length is 2.2 to 4.6 centimeters may be there whereas dimension 20 to 35 micron diameter may be there <clears throat> the major active constituents of cotton is cellulose which is approximately 90 percent if we you can see in so many literature there are somewhere written 95 percent 94 96 so we can say the cellulose may be above 90 percent and in pure cotton it will be the 100 percent so cellulose is the uh, major active constituents of cotton and chemically it is the polymer of beta d glucose okay beta d glucose so there are so many glucose units are united to make the structure of the cellulose now when two units of glucose are joined by the linkage one four it is known as the cellobiose and it is the beta glucose okay beta glucose this structure is showing here is the n n means there are so many units this is the cellobiose unit there are so many uh, units joined with each other to form the structures of the cellulose so there is one four glucosidic linkage is there if you see uh, if we do the counting from here one two three four five six and here one two three four five six so first number of carbon of this glucose molecules is attaching with fourth number of carbon atom of this glucose molecule so we can say there is the one four glucosidic linkage in the cellobios and there are so many cellobios units are joining to form the structure of cellulose now <clears throat> identification test of uh, cotton on ignition with the fumes <clears throat> it is burns with a little order of fumes leaving the white ash so these tests not passed in case of acetate rayon agitate yarn wool silk and nylon second test is on moisturizing with the n by 15 50 iodine solutions and 80 percent sulfuric acid a blue color is produced okay this same test is not passed by the alginate yarn jute hemp wool silk nylon these are the differences between the cotton and these another fibers with the ammonical layer ammonical copper oxide solution raw cotton dissolve with ballooning leaving a few fragments of cuticle so absorbent cotton dissolve completely with a uniform swelling which is different from the acetate rayon jute wool and nylon in cold sulfuric acid 80 percent cotton dissolve whereas in cold sulfuric acid 60% cotton is insoluble and in warm 
फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड कॉटन इज इनसॉल्यूबल एंड इट इज डिफरेंसेज फ्रॉम द एसिडेट रेऑन सिल्क नाइलॉन एंड कॉटन इज इनसॉल्यूबल इन फाइव परसेंट पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो हैव डिफरेंसेज फ्रॉम द ऑक्सीडाइज सेलुलोज वूल एंड सिल्क नाउ द यूजेज ऑफ द कॉटन एज अ सर्जिकल ड्रेसिंग फिल्टरिंग मीडिया इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल एंड इट इज यूज इन द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज टू प्रिपेयर अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ द फाइबर्स अनदर ड्रग इन दिस कैटेगरी इज द जूट विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द गोल्डन फाइबर्स बायोलॉजिकली इट कंसिस्ट फ्लोइंग फाइबर्स फ्रॉम द स्टेम्स ऑफ द वेरियस स्पीसीज ऑफ कॉर्कोरस फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉर्कोरस कैप्सुलरिस कॉर्कोरस कॉर्कोरस ऑलिटोरियस कॉर्कोरस कनिंगामी एंड कॉर्कोरस जुनोडी विच विच आर बिलोंग्स टू टिलियसी फैमिली geographically it is cultivated in india china bangladesh and if we talk about the india it is cultivated in west bengal in assam now preparations of the jute so steps of the production and processing of jute are as follows first is cultivation followed by harvesting then rating process then is dripping method then washing then drying the baling and packing and after that storage so if we talk about the cultivation it is cultivated by the seed propagation method and from march to may the seeds can be sown can be sown and it required the rain rain fall okay it is the rainy season crops and rainfall and type of the land okay so temperature is 24 to 37 degree celsius is required for the cultivations of this crop and humid climate should be there so the soil obtained after the annual flood is suitable for the cultivations of jute and common fertilizers like phosphorus potash nitrogen are commonly used for cultivations of the jute then after 120 to 150 days within between the 120 to 150 days harvesting should be carried out early harvesting will give the good result the harvesting plants are left in the field <clears throat> for 3 days for the leaves to shed okay we have to spread the collected material in the shed in the shed for the drying purpose then rating method is there rating method it is a procedure for the preparation of the bast fibers so this methods can be carried out by microbial method steam method and mechanical method we can say microbial or water method microbial method means in which we take the water so A microbial water uh, microbial method is the widely used method for the rating process. Rating का मतलब होता है कि सड़ाना चीज को ठीक है तो आप क्या करते हैं इसमें पानी में डिप कर देते हैं और इसको आप सड़ने के लिए छोड़ देते हैं सो माइक्रोबियल मैथड इज यूज फॉर ब्रेकिंग द लिग्निन बैंड प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द पेरन कायमेटस एंड स्क्लेर कायमेटस सो देर आर द लिग्निन बॉन्ड lignin bond between the parenchymatous and sclerenchymatous tissue so when we will dip the material inside the water due to which lignin bond will be break which is present between the parenchyma and the sclerenchyma now due to this breaking of the lignin bond there will be easy procurement of the skin from its core now the material is washed and dry to release the pectin bond and due to formations of the due to release of the pectin bond it makes the hard skin to find thread like fibers then jute fibers are graded according to its color strength and fiber length now stripping what is stripping the removal of fibers from the stalk after completion of the rating is known as the stripping the fibers are removed from the stalk by one of the following methods 
सिंगल प्लांट आर टेकन एंड देयर फाइबर आर टेकन ऑफ ओके वी कैन टेक सिंगल प्लांट एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी कैन टेक आउट द फाइबर्स इन अनदर मैथड वी कैन टेक अ बंच ऑफ स्टॉक इन हैंड एंड ब्रेकिंग इट इन टू टो एंड फ्रो मोशन इन द वॉटर ओके जस्ट लाइक अ बॉल इफ यू थ्रो अ बॉल ऑन द वॉल इट विल रिवर्स बैक सो इट इज दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑस्किलेशन ऑस्किलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी देयर सो टो एंड फ्रो मोशन विल बी देयर ड्यू टू विच वी कैन सेपरेट द फाइबर्स देन आफ्टर स्ट्रिपिंग प्रोसेस the fibers are washed with the water and if any dark color is there it can be removed by dipping them into tamarind water for 15 to 20 minutes after again washing in clean water after washing there should be drying the fibers are for this purpose fibers are hung on bamboo railing for sun drying for 2 to 3 days after drying the fibers are ready to sold in the market then Baling and packing. The baling of the jute fiber is done according to grading system. The fiber is graded into top, middle, B, C, and X bottoms. Packaging into kurcha bales about two fifty pounds for use in the mills or jute market. Now chemical constituent here also cellulose is the major active constituents which fifty to fifty three percent concentrations may be there. After that, hemicellulose, lignin is there. Some minor component like moisture, not more than twelve to thirteen percent. Fat, waxes, ash, contributing to one percent each. Then usage of the jute to make the cloth for wrapping bales of the raw cotton. In the preparations of sacks and coarse cloth, they are also woven into curtains, chairs, covering, carpet, hessian cloth. it is even used in the manufacturing of the towels padding splints filtering and straining medium jute is used for the preparations of the coarse bag then another drug is the hemp it is also known as the indian hemp cannabis indica charas biological source it consists dried flowering and fruiting tops of cannabis sativa belonging to family cannabinaceae geographically it is cultivated in tropical parts of india as maharashtra north india in bengal and also in america and africa now cultivation and collection of hemp it is cultivated by the seed propagation method seeds are sown during the july june to july harvesting carried out during december to january it is cultivated under the government controls and male plant is not collected because it does not contain the resin matters so the phyto constituent which is responsible for its activity it is present in the re in resins contained so male plant does not consist the resins that's why they are not collected and unfertilized female plants are collected for this purpose and the there is the control of government because it's have the narcotic property that's why the cultivations is supervised by the government now these are the chemical constituent the first is the resins so in resins tetrahydro cannabinol this one tetrahydrocannabinol is the major active constituents and cannabidiol these two are the major tetrahydrocannabinols and cannabidiols is the major of and anothers are cannabidiolic acid cannabinols cannabigerols cannabi uh, cannabichrome chromine sorry cannabichromine so some volatile soils trigonellines colines may also be present in small amount then uses sedative analgesic hypnotic psychotropic and antibacterial agent so it is all about the plant fibers in which we covered the cotton jute and hemp three drugs are there okay thank you very much